talking about how to draw on a canvas or how to uh, display a signature pad or a signature view uh, so that user can draw his own signature or any type of a drawing in react native's new architecture uh, without any third party library using fabric so first of all uh, as you can see i have created a default react native app and inside that you have to enable the new architecture for it so just go to the documentation and over here you can just enable the new document uh, new architecture so for android just search for new arc enabled and make it as uh, true uh, next what you have to do is for ios uh, you have to cd to your ios directory and run this command so after running this command from your ios directory you might face two issues uh, one issue could be related to this so to resolve this issue you have to run this command from the root of your react native project okay from the root of react native project and not from your ios directory uh, the other issue which you could face is related to this so i already have a video on my channel on how to resolve this issue but you can try running this command which might help you or try looking at the other answers as well which might able to help you resolve the issue but once you are able to successfully run this command uh, just run yarn ios or yarn android and uh, you should see fabric colon true which means in the metro bundler uh, which means the new architecture has been enabled for your app next uh, go to the fabric near component documentation and they are telling us to create this component so but uh, in this documentation they have specified that create this component outside your app but according to me it is incorrect like you should create it inside your app otherwise you will face lot of issues so uh, just uh, do as i have uh, done and uh, you should be good to go so inside your project just create this folder rtn canvas uh, okay and inside rtn canvas create uh, three folders android ios and js uh, inside js folder you have to create this file rts can rtn canvas native component.ts again the file naming is very important and for the code i have just copy pasted this code from the documentation only thing that has been changed i have removed this removed any prop because uh, i don't require any prop for doing a signature right and uh, the thing other thing that has been changed is this file name so this should be rt and canvas next uh, they tell us to create this package.json file so i have created again this package.json file should be a sibling to your js folder and not inside your js folder I have created this package.json and again copy pasted it from the documentation. Next, you have to change this file name rtn canvas over here, over here, and over here as well. rtn canvas specs. Next, we have to create this pod spec file. So, accordingly, whatever you have named over here, you should create a pod spec file which is sibling to your package.json. And again, I have copy pasted this from documentation. Only thing changes this name. So I've changed this name over here. Uh, next, for Android, you have to create build.gradle and as well as you have to create this folder structure as well. So go to Android, create build.gradle and create this folder src main java com rtn canvas. So inside build.gradle first, again, I have copied this from documentation. Uh, only thing that has been changed is I have added this apply plugin Kotlin because I want to use Kotlin and not Java next i have added this implementation of kotlin standard lib as well and inside the namespace i have used rtn canvas next you have to create this file canvas package.kt and again i have copy pasted this from documentation only thing changes this java code has been converted to kotlin code and this file naming has been changed uh, for now uh, on line level you have to write return empty list because you have not done code generation yet once you do code generation then you can write this return collection dot singleton but for now just write return empty list on line level okay next what you have to so we have already created this file next we have to run code generation here you can see that they are using double dot but in our case we will only use single dot because our folder is already inside react native project and not outside so what we will first do is go to uh, app.tsx and i will so this is the command which you have to run from the root of your react native project inside your terminal so just run this command next you have to do cd dot dot like specified over here it will move your uh, like it will move you outside the react native project inside uh, on your terminal 
next you have to run a command like this but here also you have to make few changes so you have to run this command this, the changes which you have to make is this um, this should be my app so uh, whatever uh, your uh, react natives uh, folder name is or project name is that should be coming over here in my case it is just my app so i have written uh, my app over here my app over here as well as my app over here and in line 3 you have to write your folder name so in my case it is rtn canvas but in your case if you have named it differently just change it according to what you need if you checked in the documentation here they have not added my app because they have created this rtn center text outside the react native project that's why but ours is inside that's why we have to add my app over here so once you run this command you should see this generated folder which is like code generation for ios uh next okay for so so okay this ios folder is empty and the reason is that i will be writing uh this uh, canvas component in swift and that's why i require xcode for it so what you have to do is open the main ios folder in xcode okay don't try to do it via vs code you will face issues so uh, open the main ios folder via xcode and first of all you have to create this file rts canvas dot h and again i have copied this uh, this from the documentation uh, only thing changed is this file name has been changed next you have to create this rtn canvas manager.ml and again i have copied this from the documentation one thing to note is that when you are try first you have to create an objective c file named rts canvas manager you can't directly create an objective c++ file so this dot mm refers to objective c++ and uh, xcode does not allow you to create an object to c++ file directly so first you have to create an object to c file its extension would be dot m and then you can change it manually to dot mm okay so make sure the extension is dot mm for this and again i have copy pasted this from documentation only thing changes this file name over here rtn canvas next what i am doing is okay we have already done this next we require this file so for now just create this file rtn canvas dot mm again the extension should be dot mm and just create this file for now next you have to create an swift file so just uh, select file new swift file and named it as canvas view dot swift as soon as you create a swift file export will ask you do you want to create a bridging header or not click on yes and it will create this bridging header okay it, it this should be an empty file the bridging header helps us to communicate between objective c and swift next uh, go to your swift file uh, this canvas view dot uh, view dot swift and here uh, like this is the exact code for uh, a la for creating a signature pad now even i don't understand much of this code like i have copied this from i think uh, some website or some stack overflow i don't remember i think it was from way vendor league i guess i'm not really sure but i have copied this code but what basically this code does is it allows you to draw a signature or any kind of a drawing uh, on your mobile screen the only thing you might want to change is that this uh, color lateral thing so for now i think i'm using uh, yellow color i guess but anyways you can uh, change the change the color according to whatever you need over here so the stroke color is i think i think this comes out to be yellow and you can change the line width as well and line cap as well if you want to uh, however you want and make sure this is at the rate object to see mem c members otherwise object to c file won't be able to access it and this is ex just extending uid so you can see the code over here complete code next you have to go to your rtn canvas dot mm and firstly i have copy pasted everything from the documentation over here only thing changes this file name over here this file name over here okay this file names and here you have to add this line so this so if you go to your bridging header you can see my bridging header file name is rn app web okay so whatever is th is the first part of your bridging file header name that should be over here followed by dash swift dot h okay uh, and next you have to comment out this line because you can't use this header file directly from xcode uh, so instead of that you have to write something like this otherwise you will get some other issue 
next uh, this is copied from documentation again this copied from documentation only file name has been changed and here i am just taking a ui view and i am making sure that when initializing the ui view it occupies the whole width and height of our mobile device next here the important thing is we are creating an object of our swift file and uh, making it bounce to our uh, ui view which we have created over here so the canvas view of the canvas view swift file occupies the whole width and height of our screen and then we are adding it as a sub view to our canvas view so i already have a video on my channel on how to you know make use of swift views like view, ui kit views which are written in swift in your objective c code so if you need more uh, knowledge on that you can check out my that video as well like and again uh, this is like a boilerplate code again copied from documentation only thing changes this file name over here so yeah i think uh, that's it for ios yeah uh, one important thing for ios is that i i guess you should be seeing a lot of error in your code and the reason is that you have not run this uh, line so you have to run this line uh, make sure you co you close Xcode before running this line and uh, run this inside the iOS directory of your project and as soon as you run it all the errors which you see on in your code should go away okay so make sure you run this line and now coming back to Android so for Android first you have to run uh, this line yarn add dot slash rt and canvas once you do that you have to cd to your main android folder and run this dot uh, dot slash gradle w generate code gen rtfx from schema it will do code generation for android which you can find inside your node modules if you are interested next for android what we have to do is uh, we have to create this so we already have this canvas package dot kt right now instead of returning empty list you can change it to this return collection dot singleton list and next you have to create this file canvas manager dot kt again i have copy pasted this from documentation only the file name has been changed and java code has been converted to kotlin code so you can change the file name over here okay and this my canvas referred to this file my canvas dot kt which we will uh, look uh, just after this file next i have created all the code for it make sure this is correct rtn canvas and here we are retaining the my canvas view now we will create the my canvas dot kt again i have uh, so copy pasted this code from a google code sample uh, so you can just search for android kotlin drawing sample on github and you should see uh, the code sample for it so i have just copy pasted the code the only thing which you might be interested is so i have defined the stroke color as yellow but you can change it to whatever you want and you can also change the stroke width as well to whatever you want the test of the code i think like even i don't understand much of it but this is like the code to create a canvas so if you want you can just copy paste it okay so once that is done what else so yeah again you have to run this command so in our case it would be yarn add dot slash rt and canvas so just run this command again and now to use it uh, what you have to import something like this and yeah let me comment this out and you can uh, make sure you apply some styles like i am occupying the entire width and height uh, so yeah uh, use something like this and uh, i will show you the video as well like how it looks so this is how it looks on a ios so you can see i'm drawing anything on the screen and it works and uh, same for android as well so here you can see i'm drawing anything and it works so yeah that's it for today's video i think i hope i have not missed anything Oh, one important thing which I have missed is inside the main Android folder, go to build.gradle and add this Kotlin version as well, as well as this class path. And inside app build.gradle, you have to add apply plugin Kotlin Android, as well as you have to add this Kotlin standard lib. So I think, yeah, that should be it.
Yep, I think that should be it. Thank you for watching. Bye.